What's going on? Find somebody to get the phone. I'll get it. Oop, wrong phone. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hi, Perry. What what took you so long? Is this <laughs> Is this operator O? What do you mean, is this operator O? That's what it says on the phone here. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, this is Bill Cosby. I got up here at the end of the rainbow, and yeah. there's nothing here but an old pot of gold. Oh, no wonder Judy's been trying to get there for years. <laughs> the thing's empty, I tell you. I think somebody got here ahead of me and grabbed the gold. Probably one of the guys from Uncle or whatever. <laughs> but, uh, listen. I'll stick with it, okay? You're a good man, Bill. Take your time. We've got a lot of show to go anyway. Okay, Sayonara. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> I don't know how I got into this business. It must have been just a result of an unhappy childhood. That's all I can say. Speaking of childhoods, I had one. I know it was somewhere. I remember one part was I had to do with stealing. Now, I do not go along with stealing. I don't go along with children stealing. But we had to steal so that we could make our go-karts. You see, a go-kart, you take, you make a go-kart out of a piece of wood, you put a piece across this way and a piece back here and another piece across there and you hammer them down, you make an axis here, then you have four wheels. So you have to steal the wheels off your baby coaches so that they can go. <laughs> Nothing else will work, I tell you. Baby coach wheels are the grooviest wheels for the go-karts. All right, we stole about 283 go-kart wheels there. And the mother's, you know, the odd wheel was because old Weird Harold had a Continental on the back of his. You know. He was very cool, more intelligent than anybody else. But mothers used to go out, you know, and push the baby coach and have no wheels on it, of course, and the thing went, <coughs> and the baby would look up and say, why? You know. <laughs> but anyway, we, every Saturday we used to have go-kart races, and we would go down Dead Man's Hill. Dead Man's Hill. I'll never forget every Saturday. Dead Man's Hill is a two-mile drive down a hill like this, and it empties out into a freeway. You see, uh, henceforth the name Dead Man's Hill, of course, because many kids didn't make it. Now, in order to have a good go-kart race, you have a piece of wood and a piece of, uh, piece of string and another piece of string come up like this, and you have your own music. Mine was taken from Buck Jones and the Rough Riders, and it went, na 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 Old Weird Harold took his from the Lone Ranger. Frank! 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 And then there was old crying Charlie, who had the weirdest cry of all. You could never hear him. Every time he got hurt, he just went... He took his music from the green arm. <laughs> and there's 16 million of us racing and riding, but the mother's told them somebody's stealing our baby coach wheels. Tell the cops, put away the go-karts, and we gotta hide them for a long time. Brought them out the next Saturday. Even though the cops are looking for us, we will brave this mighty race for the championship of the go-karts of America race. We had one little kid who wasn't old enough to ride a go-kart, but we made him the fire engine. You see, he had a little red wagon he used to pull along beside him, had a glass of water in it. Anybody that smashed up, he'd run, up, run along and hit him in the face. Doosh! Put out the fire. So we got 956 million kids at the top of the hill. You know, you get to the top of the hill, you have to have a, a flunky push you to the top. See, a flunky's a kid that can't build his own. And sometimes you let him ride by himself uphill. Uh, <laughs> All right, so now you got to warm up your, 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 your engine. You know, you sit there at the top of the hill. Now, I used to always win because I had three-in-one oil. See, three in one go on that three-in-one oil, and also rolling up the motor. Out of the land, bad. And I haven't even gotten out of first gear yet. <laughs> All right, and the flag race. 
out and they handcuffed us all together and it backfired. The handcuffs backfired on them because our wrists were too skinny to hold them and they kept falling off on the ground. So, you see your handcuffs, thing fell on the ground so they thigh cuffed us together and we went to jail like this. <laughs> 